Good morning, guys. Today is July the 6th, I believe, on Saturday. It's about 9.43 in the morning. And I am doing some running around this morning. I'm on my way to the grocery store. I just left the bank. I wanted to go early before all the weekend traffic got out and stuff. So I can get it done because we're going to see the heat tonight. I can't wait. That's going to be so exciting. And I'll try to vlog throughout the day. So I made it to our Trader Joe's. This is our Trader Joe's right here. And we have a Target over there. Uh, little Bed Bath and Beyond. It's a nice little shopping center. Um, it's kind of awkward vlogging. Vlogging. It's kind of awkward vlogging in a um, place like Trader Joe's because this one's always busy. But I'll see what I can do. So I spent about 34, ooh, my car's moving, 34.72 at Trader Joe's and that's two bags of mainly fruits and veggies. I got some kale. I'll do a haul when I get home. I got some butternut squash. So I got I think I got some pretty good deals. Asian, Oriental Asian mix. No, this is an asparagus also. Alright guys, in a minute. These are all the different breads they have here. I used to eat this right here. The pump nickel, dark plump. But lately, I've been getting this. Healthy carbs, 25 calories, 6 net carbs. I like the bags of frozen chicken. Like, like that right there. Like that. Put in my uh, salad and um, stir fry. Getting the blueberries or raspberries. Like the raspberries and blackberries. Or my smoothies. Bacon bits from a salad. So we're on our way to the movies. And I wanted to show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's. I got some uh, Asian stir fry. It has all of the Asian vegetables that go in the, to the Asian stir fry. I thought it would say it on here, but I don't see it. And I got some butternut squash. I'm trying to eat healthy. And I got an asparagus saute with mushrooms and onions. That looks yummy. And I got some baby bok choy. I was going to put that in my stir fry. Um, I'm going to make corned beef and corned beef and cabbage tomorrow for Sunday's dinner. So I got a corned beef brisket right here. My husband, that's his favorite meal. And since he's been sick today, he, um, he has a kidney stone. I decided to make him something special. Just because. So we're heading over to my cousin's to my husband, husband's cousin's house for um, for the uh, for his son's graduation party. It's going to be in the park, and um, it's kind of warm here, but I think it'll be okay. It's not uncomfortable. It's just a little bit warm. And then here's Major out here using the bathroom, looking for a place to go potty. Alrighty, guys, I'll see you in a minute. So I'm sitting here with my cousin Dina at her son and, well, both of her sons. They graduated. Their high school graduation party. Christian and Brandon. And here's everybody. That's her mom and dad right there. There's our friend. That make her She's so cute. There she is. There she is. <laughs> Where's the graduation kids at? There's Christian. Christian, say hi. 
Yo, where's Brandon? I still haven't seen Brandon. Where's Brandon? Brandon. Brandon. Say hello. I remember he wore that Look, don't you take that picture. Look what he's doing. I see. So, yeah, we're just enjoying family here. Look at them. Are you recording? Yes. yes. Parents being really mean. Love men are me. <laughs> she said Karen. She's talking about me. Well, I know. Don't you want Brian and Karen to come to the lake with you next weekend? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe her. Yeah. You can come to the to the lake. Okay. Did you get Here's the daddy. The daddy of a graduate. Jeremy. Hello. Are you going to go tubing? What's up, guys? I'm having such a wonderful weekend so far. I, um... Got some really good deals at the grocery store yesterday. Usually our, our budget is like $150 um, a week. I know that's a lot of money, but you really can't shop now for under that. And since we're eating healthier, we're buying um, like organic meats and more fruits and vegetables and stuff. And so I guess it's just more money. Well, what do you do? But um, I got right at 151, I think. So I'm always happy whenever I get a deal, and you know, if my husband gives me a budget, and I kind of stick to it. But um, <clears throat> I wanted you guys to uh, pray for this little girl on YouTube. I watch her little videos. Her name is Talia Joy 18. I think that's T A L I A Joy J O Y 18. Go check out her channel. I don't know if I spelled her name right. I'll make sure I put it in the description box. But she's like 14, 13 or 14, and she has leukemia. And she's been on the um, Ellen DeGeneres show. She um, she's, was the cover girl. She does her little makeup. She's been doing it since she's been about 10, I think. But she's just the cutest little girl, and she's got this awesome spirit she's always so positive about her situation and um she has just embraced her life the way it is she doesn't wear wigs her hair is bald and she just makes her face up and she's just saying you know this is this is who i am um right now but like nemo the little fish she says i'm just going to keep swimming and i just think that's so sweet for her to have such an um, attitude about her situation, but um, literally, my heart, I prayed for her this morning, my heart goes out to her and her family, and she's been in the hospital, um, she was in the hospital for four weeks, um, when I looked at her video, it was at the end of May, so I'm just now kind of catching up with her videos and finding out what's going on, she's also on my Instagram, so, um, her mother is too and her sister so I kind of that's how I know that there's something going on with her because they keep posting pictures and saying please pray for her you know because she's not doing so hot but I truly believe that God is still a healer he's still in the healing business and that um, he can turn the situation around for her I can't imagine what her mother is going through like I don't have kids so I don't know what it feels like you know, to watch your kids suffer like this. So for me to cry for someone that I don't even know and and I don't have kids, I can't. I know that her mother is feeling that a hundred times worse. So I just wanted to get on here and ask you guys to just please pray for that sweet little girl. She is such a beautiful child, and I just hate to see children suffer. I hate cancer. I wish it didn't exist, and, you know, I'll... How long has it been here, and they still don't have a cure for it? So, anyway, that's my little, um, you know, that's what I wanted to say, and I will check back in with you guys later. <laughs> Bye.